Hi guys, welcome back to Game & Muscle videos. Now in this video, I'm gonna really quickly go over graphic settings in Assetto Corsa for use in virtual reality for those of you that have slower computers and you wanna get basically the best performance out of Assetto Corsa with it actually looking decent. So we're not just setting all the settings to, to the lowest, we're, we're gonna go for what makes it look passable whilst maximizing your frame rate. So if you're trying to be competitive uh, and you want it to look reasonably nice with a slow computer, this, this is probably the, the settings for you. So to start with, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that um, you're running uh, super sampling in Steam at 1.3. Uh, so you can either use uh, advanced VR settings or you can manually edit the config file for Steam VR. But 1.3 seems to be the sort of sweet spot in terms of getting it so there's less shimmering uh, and the image is nice and sharp into the distance uh, before getting a massive performance hit. Now, if you're on an absolute bare minimum 1930s computer before computers were even invented, you might want to just go to 1.0 super sampling, but I recommend 1.3 super sampling. In terms of the display settings in AC, you're going to want to have um, the resolution at 1920 by 1080. That doesn't affect the VR resolution. It affects the, uh, the, the sort of in-game app, the in-game app resolution, how the in-game apps are displayed. And really you just need to have that at 1920 by 1080 regardless. So put that 1920 by 1080. Of course you need the Oculus Rift selected. Um, if you're using a, a, a Vive or a Rift, if you're using a Vive, of course you'll be using a Revive, uh, download and store that separately. Um, in terms of the further settings, frame rate limit, we've got set to off. Anastrophic filtering, we've got set to 16. Uh, anastrophic filtering has pretty much no impact on modern graphics cards. So always whack that up regardless of the game. Um, Anti-aliasing samples. Now, as I say, we're running 1.3 super sampling in Steam VR. Um, you can put this to off and for, for raw performance, the more the less AA you have, the you know, it has a really big uh, impact on performance. So ideally you want it on at least two, otherwise you will start to get shimmering. But assuming your computer is, is terrible, uh, and, and literally a sort of a cog driven machine designed by Babbage himself, just stick it to off uh, and see how it runs. Um, we've also got world detail set to minimum. Again, not ideal, you don't get things like grass or all the different track details, but for, for raw performance, minimum is fine and the textures still look good, so it's not the end of the world. Um, shadow resolution, now this is an interesting one. In VR, the shadows actually have quite a big impact because if you put shadows to the lowest setting, you increase things like shimmering and how the shadows cut off in the distance. And it's really quite distracting in VR. Also things like the shadows on the actual in-car shadows and the, and the cockpit shadows. Now, Assetto Corsa uses uh, different shadow resolutions for the car cockpits and the, the track shadows. So even when you set it to low, the, the in-car stuff doesn't look absolute garbage. But really, and ideally, you want the shadow resolution on, on high so it reduces that sort of shimmering, distracting effect you get from shadows, which is, as I say, very noticeable in VR, but you can compromise and put it on medium. Um, ideally, you have it on high, but okay, 486 time, medium will do. So the last real setting that has a huge impact on performance is in your reflections options here in Assetto Corsa. Mirror resolution, you'll probably want on normal because you need to be able to see what cars are doing behind you and avoiding those T1 crashes. Um, but a crucial one is the reflection quality setting. Now, again, we're going for slow, we're going for maximum performance here. I found if you put things on low for the reflection quality and then have it on static, you get the illusion of cars actually being reflective and shiny. Of course, you don't get the nice uh, animated uh, reflections as you drive along and you look at your bonnet. But for the most part, when you're focused on racing, this setting of low and static um, makes it not look gamey, makes it look decent and semi-photo realistic, but has the absolute minimum performance impact. If you've done all the settings that we've just gone through there and, and you're not getting any slowdown issues or any problems, then by all means, uh, start fiddling around uh, by putting the rendering frequency on low or up, it, up in the reflection quality. But as I say, these settings are basically what I've got in terms of getting absolute maximum performance. And this is what I've been using when I've been driving with the 
uh, HTC Vive while streaming and, and absolutely hammering my computer. And you'll, you, you'll see from these settings, it actually looks fairly decent in the VR headset. Now, um, the last thing we're saying actually, in terms of um, the, for, for the Vive side of things, you're probably gonna wanna just have uh, the asynchronous time warp uh, enabled. But, but the thing with asynchronous time warp that you will notice is when in driving simulators, the asynchronous time warp kicks in, you will, you will see when you go around corners that trees and stuff stutter and the motion is not completely smooth. And for driving simulators and racing games, this can really affect the perception of speed, um, which is <laughs> quite important when it comes to turning and when you're braking, that perception of speed is, a, is, a, is something that you use to very precisely make sure that you're on the limit of the car and actually get the maximum speed through the corners. So ideally, you don't want to be leaning on asynchronous time warp uh, at all. Um, and that's why you probably might want to go with these settings if you're on a slower computer. Um, if you're fortunate enough to be using an Oculus Rift with this, and bearing in mind um, a set of course at the moment uh, is using the Oculus Rift drivers, these, uh, even if you've got a slow computer, um, you can be more aggressive and you can start leaning on the asynchronous uh, time warp because the Oculus Rift also has um, asynchronous space warp, which fixes the issue of um, sort of the rotational stutter. Uh, so you, you, you know, you can go under the 90 FPS without any problems. I think uh, we're sort of like two or so months off from the uh, Vive also having the asynchronous uh, space warp as well as the rift so that will fix everything you'll be able to just slap everything on, on higher settings and you've got more wiggle room but there you go i hope <laughs> hope that sort of covered the basics of the settings in a set of course to get the absolute best performance without things looking looking like absolute ass um hopefully that was useful if it was don't forget to click the subscribe button don't forget to uh, like, we've got um, more videos in the, uh, I'll, put, I'll put some links on the screen to more videos and there's more information in the, in the video description. Leave a comment, ask any questions, I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. Um, look forward to seeing you guys on the track. We also stream live in Assetto Corsa quite often on Sim Racing System, so you can uh, watch us there on Twitch. But uh, until the next video we do, thanks for watching this and goodbye everybody.